In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH3 plus H2SO4, ammonia plus sulfuric acid. First thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. You can see I have two NH4, two ammonium ions here, so I have two nitrogens. I'm going to have to put a two in front of the NH3, and that balances our molecular equation. Everything adds up. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So NH3 ammonia, one to remember, is a weak base. It will dissolve in water. It won't dissociate very much into ions, but it'll dissolve in water. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid. That's going to dissociate, dissolve into its ions. It's a strong electrolyte. And then when you have compounds with the ammonium ion, they're going to be soluble as well. They're going to dissociate. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. This is the complete ionic equation. We said that ammonia, that's a weak base. It's also a weak electrolyte. So because of that, we can't split it apart. We're just going to write 2NH3. I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. Plus sulfuric acid, hydrogen group 1 on the periodic table, has a 1 plus ionic charge. And this whole sulfate ion, 2 minus. So we have two hydrogen ions and then just the one sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we're going to split this apart. It's a strong electrolyte because of the ammonium ion. And the ammonium ion always has a 1 plus charge. That's the whole thing. So I have two of these ammonium ions. Plus, I have this sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. So that's our complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. When I look, the only thing I see that's the same in the reactants and the products is the sulfate ion here. So I'm going to cross that out. It hasn't changed, so we're not interested in that. What's left is our net ionic equation for NH3 plus H2SO4. I'll clean it up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our net ionic equation for ammonia plus sulfuric acid. We have the coefficients as 2, 2, and 2. So we can reduce that down to 1, 1, 1. We don't write the 1s, though, by convention. So this is our net ionic equation. You'll note charge is conserved. We have a positive charge on this side, a positive charge on this side. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. There's one last thing, though. We should talk about ammonia, because here it's dissolved in water. So when NH3 is put in water, we end up, it reacts with the water, and we get this ammonium hydroxide. Actually, we don't get a little bit of the ammonia hydroxide. This is an equilibrium. Most of it stays ammonia. But we could write a net ionic equation for the reaction of the ammonium hydroxide plus the sulfuric acid. And there's a link in the description on how to do that it would give us a different net ionic equation. But either way, here's the net ionic equation that we came up with for NH3 plus H2SO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.